I would just say that you know, we're just trying to do a real good thing here. We're trying to light a fire in people's hearts and just trying to get them to just understand understand God and what, what He's doing in our life. And just hopefully we can spread it to Him, spread it to everyone around us. We want to we wanna make Him known worldwide. How welcoming is uh, what happens here on Monday nights, too? I mean, we're very accepting, not judgmental at all. We love everybody who comes, who wants to learn. It's just it's a very good thing we have going on here. Why do you think like the gospel of Jesus fits in well so well with sports? You know, just given what the, you know what the pattern of sport is, given and and what uh, what it means to be a Christian. To, you know. to me, it's just you know, you know the Bible is just not something you can just you know pick and choose from. It's not like it's not a buffet. You have to believe in it wholeheartedly, or you don't believe in it at all. You have to believe every word that's in there, and just it helps me a lot when I'm. Sports-wise, I'm feeling, feeling down. I'm on the mound. You know, I'm not having my best game. I know, you know I know God has my back no matter what. He's always there for me. How can trusting in the Lord make you a better teammate too? Do you think? It makes me want to just be a better person. It makes me want to share with them what I know, and I just, just want to, I just want to be known worldwide. I just want FCA to grow in many ways. I want people to know that God is the way, and you know, He's the truth and He's the life, and. And I just, I want my team to come to Christ. Talk about the value of getting together, too, with other Christians or, you know, people that are experiencing the same thing as you are as a college athlete, too, and then opening God's Word. Well, I think it's, I think it's um, very, very nice to really be around other people that are going through the same thing that you're going through. Um, you know, it helps me because when I know someone else is going through something, I say, man, hey, I, I can relate to that. And it helps to really grow in your faith to see people, you know, that go through the same problems you go through. It helps you because it makes you feel like, oh, you're not alone. It makes you know that, you know, there's other people that are there and that, you know, that have experienced what you've experienced. And that just helps you, helps me personally grow in my faith. Mm-hmm. How is uh, a relationship with Christ? Um, affect you as as a baseball player? Well, it it's affected me in a very big way. Um, growing up, I uh, I used to, my dad uh, would tell me to say this certain prayer, and it's out of Philippians it's Philippians four thirteen. I can do everything through Christ who strengthens me, and I've um, I've said that I would say for the last five years, every single at bat that I've had, and um, I've I've felt Christ power in in baseball and, and through my whole athletic career and I've I just Christ has been a very big part of my success and being here at Blackhawk without without Christ I wouldn't be here at Blackhawk and he has cleared my mind and he has gave me clarity to, to go where he wants me to go and I am very appreciative of that. And, mm-hmm. and last thing, has FCA changed your life? Yeah. FCA has been uh, has actually been a very big part of my life. Coming from Chicago to here, I didn't know a church. I didn't, you know, I really didn't know anybody. And uh, FCA has really helped me to uh, stay in tune with my faith and to also fellowship with my other teammates and with other uh, men of Christ. And it's it's been an absolute blessing to my life. And uh, I uh, I just hope that that more people will come to FCA so that they can feel what I feel and they can experience what I've experienced. Mm-hmm.